Hi everyone, Gary here from Sage Ireland and today we're going to go through your clients uh, Sage 50 uh, cloud accounts and how we can export uh, their data and create a set of final accounts for either a period or a year into final accounts online. So firstly what we do is we go into the Sage 50 instance which is where we are now and we'll go and run off a trial balance. Now we want to export this because this is the CSV that will be imported into Sage final accounts online. So we select file and we go to run and then all we need to do is just ensure that we've selected a CSV as the option. We select where we want it to go so I'm just going to put it into my uh, main folder here and hit save. Include of course all periods for the year. Okay now that the export is done and we're going to jump into Excel. Now I've just opened Excel and just note that the Row one here, code name, debits and credits, just needs to be added in for mapping reasons to bring the CSV into final accounts online. By default, the export won't give row one, it will just be straight into the nominal codes and the descriptions and so on. So just a mention for that. And just as well to naturally enough save the file after you've done that and we can jump ahead into business cloud accounting to begin the import. Okay, so now we're in business cloud um, accounting partner edition where in this particular case I've got three clients and the accounts I'm going to prepare is going to be for a melon called green grocers and um, you can see here I'm just going to click on the client and straight away on the right hand side it, it's going to prompt me then to go in and create a set of final accounts so we're going to select that option Now from here there's a couple of accounts been created already or some of them are in progress but I'm going to go ahead and in this case select create a new set of accounts um, the ones here that you know I have the option to base it on an existing set but you know in this particular example I'm just going to go ahead and create a new set of accounts um, the year the periods in this case I'm going to do the current year 2019 um, and I'll do it up to the end of September so that way we're getting a full um, three-quarter year um, look at the business so I'm just going to select September change this to 2019 and I'll select the end date of September and it's a period report. I'm not doing a year end in this case, I just want to do um, year to date period. Um, and then I have the options to update the year end in Sage Business Cloud Accounting, which is not applicable because we're going to bring this in via a CSV from Sage 50. I also don't want to do any lockdowns in Business Cloud because again, it's not linked into a Business Cloud instance. And we have a separate video on that as well, where Sage Business Cloud Accounting will link directly in to final accounts online. Um, in this case, there is no comparative period. Um, if there was, I'd have the option to bring in those figures as well for management reports and so on. I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. And then this is where I can enter some more detail about the company. So it's limited company. Um, I'm going to do it based on FRS 102 for the small entity. And I'm not going to go ahead with dormant accounts. And I will select a bridge uh, purely for uh, revenue and CRO reasons. Okay, so here we have the option and I spoke about as well, if we link in directly with business cloud accounting, in this case, um, we're not going to. So I'm gonna go ahead and select enter the trial balance manually. Now what this does is it will prompt me to either manually enter it uh, by keying in the debits and credits as I go down, so I can do it from here. But in this case, I'm gonna actually import the trial balance. This is the one that came from Sage 50. Now, if you don't have it already, you can click CSV template and that will do a download of Excel and basically show you the way it should be templated and remember at the start of the video we spoke about row one the code the name the debits and credits just needed to be added to the initial sage 50 um, export so anyway we're going to go ahead and upload the trial balance so we select the file there it is there tb.csv we go ahead and upload that and there we can see everything is brought in as it was in uh, sage 50 so we go ahead and click next and this is the point where we just need to map in any uh, ledger accounts that are not mapped. Now, typically, because it's a CSV import, many of these may not be mapped the first time around. But because I've actually created a set of accounts for this client before, everything is remembered, so to speak. So any future mapping and exports will be picked up automatically. But as we can see, a few ledger accounts may have been added in by the client since the last uh, set of accounts that we've done. So we can see here, we've got a GBP current account, a group sweep account, and so on. Uh, loans, for example. So all we have to do here is select a nominal account within final accounts online to map that to. So I'm gonna say select a, another nominal code. I'll start typing in the word loans and I can just scroll down and select which ledger that I want this to come from. So I could say, okay, other loans, cost brought forward, advances made, um, 
scroll down further, we'll just say, okay, bank loan due in more than one year, select that, hit confirm, and now that mapping is kept. And that will also be kept for future imports as well. Okay, so once all the mapping is done, we'll be left with the standard trial balance as it will appear in final accounts online. Again, scroll to the bottom, we just do a sense check, the 4.8 on both debit and credit, so everything balances, and the PL of the 197 ties back to the client's PL uh, in Sage 50. So everything uh, is as it should be. We can then have a look at the accounts. So we have the option for a member set of accounts, which is good for, let's say, board of management or management accounting, um, revenue set of accounts for revenue and CRO for company house. In this case, we'll just have a look at the member set of accounts and just kind of give an overview as to the type of information that will be captured. So here we can see then the member set of accounts. Typically, these will be distributed then to management within the client's entity. So just clicking through a couple of things here, we can see, for example, the accountant report, which again, we have the text fields up there, the name and address of the accountant. We have then an appropriate P&L, which basically just, you know, everything you'd expect to see, like turnover, um, cost of sales and other admin expenses and so on. And um, we have the SOCE, which in this particular case, if you can recall, we had interim dividends, bonus issues or shares and so on. And um, again, all picked up and noted in the final accounts as well. And once we're happy with everything, then we have the option then to uh, generate the set of accounts. So before we do, we'll just click in and I'll show you the, we can, we can do the sets for revenue and CRO. And again, the headings and subheadings and sections would be uh, basically ma matched up with what they would expect in the set of accounts. So you can see the accountant again mentioned the director, Bill Butcher in this case, and all of the other uh, various bits and pieces like solicitors, registered office, and so on. Um, so when we, we're happy and we want everything to, you know, I suppose be finalized, we go to generate the set of accounts. Uh, we have it in PDF. We also have the option for the IXBRL uh, online filing. And that's really it, I suppose, start to finish. So your client's on stage 50, we can bring in the, ex, uh, the the import into final accounts online. And from there, we can create the various sets of accounts, both for management and statutory reports. And again, we have the IXBRL tagging as well. Thank you.